Hey YouTube, Waga. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the front bar of your W203. And in the process, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the front headlights as well. Seeing as we will already be removing the front bar, it's going to make removing the headlights a lot easier, seeing as you have access because the front bar is already removed. <music> But not only that, with the front bar removed, you're going to be able to gain access to things like the intercooler for the supercharger. It's going to make changing headlight bulbs a lot easier because you can remove the headlights. Even though you do not have to remove the front bar or the headlight in order to change out your light bulb, it's just going to make it easier if you happen to be doing this. Also, it's going to give you access to the fog lights as well and anything that is attached to the front bar such as the ambient temperature sensor, the horn and so forth. So removing the front bar is actually pretty important if you are a DIY and you like to modify your own car. Removing the front bar is going to be one of those things that get, gives you so much access to the front end of your car that it makes life so much easier when it comes to doing modifications. Let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys exactly how I remove the front bar and the headlights as well. For this video, what I'm going to do is just imagine a straight line down the center of the car. What I'm going to do is remove everything that you need to remove on the left hand side in order to remove the front bar. And then you have to imagine a mirror image. So whatever you remove on the left side, you have to remove on the right side as well. I'm going to only remove everything on the left hand side in order to save a little bit of time and so that we can get through this a lot quicker. But the principle is exactly the same. What you remove from the left side, you must also remove from the right side in order to remove the front bar. So how I like to remove the front bar is, I like to start off at the wheel well. And then I like to remove the wheel well flaps that cover the fog lights and that also go down to the front bar. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. This is what I'm talking about here. This part here sits in front of your wheel and then this part here connects to your front bar. So what I like to do is remove this first and what you need to do is remove two push clips and then three bolts and then there's also another two push clips down the bottom and then there is also a eight mil screw. I'll show you all of that while we're doing it but I just want to give you an idea of how to do it. And then after that, we're going to remove these two 8mm bolts here and we'll also remove a 8mm bolt inside next to the fog light. That's basically it. All that's left would be the two brackets that hold the front bar to the fender panel and there's a torque screw there as well and then that's all there is to it. I have jacked up my car and also removed the wheels to make this easier but when doing this you do not have to remove your wheels nor do you have to jack up your car. You can simply leave it on the ground planted and in order to get to the wheel well, all you need to do is turn your wheels far left or far right, whichever way, as long as it gives you enough room in order to get to these bolts and the push clips. Okay, so let's do that. The first thing we want to remove here are the push clips. So there are a total of two push clips here that you're going to need to remove first, okay? And it's just two, all right? There's one up the top here, and then there's also another at the bottom here. And how you remove these are, you pry out the, the center push clip, and then you remove it. Okay, now, I have a few different tools that I like to use in order to remove these push clips. So let me show you how they come apart. All you need to do is pry out the center so that it will release the clip. And that's it, that's all there is to it. I use a few different tools. I have a tool like this, which is actually called a trim removal tool, so that you can get under it, like so, and then pry it out, and that will allow you to eventually remove the clip. Then I also have another trim removal tool, and this one works like this, where you get under it, and then it uses the car as a pressure point, and then once you click it, as you can see, it pulls it right off. These tools come in very handy when it comes to removing push clips because some of them can be very annoying to remove. If you use just a flat head, sometimes you can pry, they get brittle due to, due to heat and sometimes 
when you pry it you will break it just like I have here as you can see all right we'll remove this one here as well you remove the whole clip you don't just remove the center you're gonna to have to remove the whole clip with those push clips removed set it aside make sure you don't lose any of them now we remove the 10 mil bolts now your car may be different it really just depends on who owned it before you if they changed out the bolts if they haven't these are most likely going to be 10 mil bolts so we just remove these Now we need to go underneath here and remove two push clips and also a eight mil screw. Having a look underneath now, you have one push clip here that you need to remove. And then you also have another push clip right here. And while we're here, we're also going to remove this eight mil screw as well. And then this will simply come out. We can then work on removing the side clamps that hold the front bar to the side fender. I'm going to remove this eight mil screw here. All right. And then there are two push clips left to remove. When it comes to these three, I know it may seem like you need to remove all three of them in order to remove this, but you don't have to. You only have to remove the center one. And I'll show you guys why. Okay, so we'll remove this middle one. And then we'll also remove this one right here. Okay, and now we can remove this piece. Push it out that way. There we go. And it comes right off. As you can see here, it was only this single clip here that held in the wheel well to here. The other two hold the rear support for the front bar to the actual front bar itself. So that's why you only have to remove that push clip there. We will now remove the bracket. Next, we're going to remove the bracket here that holds this front bar to the side fender. And in order to do this, what I like to do in order to make life easier is, I just use like a piece of rope and a hook and I just hook on the hole here just to get it out of the way so we have room to look underneath here and remove that bracket. If you have a look here, there is a black piece that is a bracket that clamps the front bar and the fender together. You have to remove a T25 Torx screw right here so that you can remove the bracket. So we will remove this T25 Torx screw. Okay, T25 Torx screw removed. And now what you need is a flathead screwdriver or some sort of pry tool. Now, I'm just going to use a Phillips here, but I know what I'm doing. So you basically get it in here and then you pry it out like so. As you can see, I'm prying it out. And then once it gets to a certain point, as you can see, you can just pry it all the way out. Now, you don't just pull it straight out. It comes out on a... Um, 45 degree angle so get it out to about there and then pull it straight out that is that bracket removed in order not to lose your screws i like to put it back where they belong like so now we'll go to the front of the car and we will remove the last bolts and screws so that we can begin to pull off the front bar another thing is while we're here we may as well remove uh, disconnect the fog light as it is connected to the front bar as well now I've already changed mine to HIDs but the principle is the same you just have to press on the tab here and then pull it out and that is your fog light harness removed one of the last things we need to remove is a 8 mil screw that's inside here remove the 8 mil screw as you can see, it is a eight mil screw. And last but not least, we need to remove another eight mil screw that holds the front bar at the top here. There we go. And remember guys, just keep everything together so you don't lose anything. So now with everything removed, I wanna show you guys something real quick. So I've removed everything on this side as well. Okay, so taking a look at the front bar now, it comes off pretty easily now because we have removed everything. Now, the important part here is to remember that the front bar sits in this bracket here. So in order to remove the front bar, 
we do not have to lift it up or down all we have to do is pull it directly forward so it comes off the bracket that holds it in as you can see right there okay just simply pull it forwards and it will come right off make sure you have a piece of cardboard so that you can sit the front bar on it so it doesn't scratch it and all we do now is grab the side and pull forwards hold it there come to the left hand side and just pull it forwards look at that and that's how easily the front bar comes off your front bar removed because we've already removed the front bar removing the headlight is so simple there are simply just three eight mil bolts that hold the headlight in there's one there one here and there's one more on the side here which i'll show you when we take it off it's just three eight mil bolts that's one two if we go to the side here we will see the third one that is the third one right there Alrighty, so now with all three bolts removed we can now remove the headlight now just one last thing before you pull it straight out there are two connectors that you need to remove as well so at the bottom you're going to have your air hose and also you have your headlight harness just pull it forward a bit and then you'll see your headlight harness right here okay firstly i'll remove the headlight harness there is a tab on both sides you just simply press on the tabs and then wiggle it out and the harness just comes out there's a tab on both sides just press on them and then wiggle it out and then lastly we have our air hose in order to remove this you just have to twist it a bit and then pull straight out and it will come right off and that's it that is our headlight completely removed so as you can imagine now with the front bar removed and the headlight removed you get so much access to different things here for instance you can now get to your horn you can get to your fog light you can get to your intercooler for your supercharger you can get to your radiator you know there is just so much that is accessible now due to removing the front bar also if your front bar has parking sensors this would be the time in order to replace them and this is how you would get to them it really is very beneficial to know how to remove your front bar because in doing so you will be able to diy and fix a lot of things yourself rather than getting someone else to fix it you could even replace your screen washers reservoir water reservoir this would now also make changing out your light bulbs that much easier now i've also removed the headlight because i want to show you guys a little modification that i'm going to work on for the headlight and hopefully it works out really well but i'll save that for another video that is how you remove your front bar and also your front headlights because we already have the front bar off i want to show you guys how you could also replace certain parts related to the front bar because while the front bar is off you want to be able to check certain things so that if you need to replace it now would be the time rather than putting it back together and then realizing oh I should have replaced that this would be the time to replace any components related to the front bar like the grill the support bracket fog lights anything like that and also don't forget that this would also be the time to replace your ambient temperature sensor if you needed to this would be the time to do so and in order to replace this it's very simple all you have to do is push on a tab here unclip it get your new one and push it straight back on again and that's it then you simply reattach it to your front bar when you go to reinstall it there you have it how to remove the front bar off your w203 and also how to remove the headlights as well because i was already removing the front bar it was a no-brainer to also show you guys how to remove the headlights as well basically reinstalling the front bar is just reversal of removal if you just have a look at this video again you will see basically where everything goes but if you have issues with that 
in my next video I will show you how to reinstall the front bar anyway but it really is just the reverse order of removal and the headlight the same thing it's just the three bolts that you have to uh, put back on and your headlight will be fitted straight back in when you do reinstall everything make sure you're paying close attention to all the gaps around your headlight and the gaps of your fender and your front bar you want to make sure that it's flush you want to make sure that it sits in really close together that way it looks perfect there's nothing worse than taking apart your car and then when you go to reinstall everything you get gaps here and there because you, don't, you, you can't seem to fit it the way that they did when they built the car but I really hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads in my next video guys I'll show you guys how to uh, modify the front headlight uh, I'm going to do a quick little modification to the front headlight and um, I hope that it works out really well I'll show you guys what that's all about I'm also going to show you guys how to install HIDs or LEDs in your headlights and also for the fog lights as well now I had these LED strips for a very long time on my uh, W203 but I never connected them I just never got around to it so I'm going to connect these and uh, hopefully it looks pretty good once I get it connected so stay tuned make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video this is Mike with Mikey's vlogs signing off